Hey Scorpios, it's Zahara Stars with Illum Astrology bringing you your July 2018 Astro Weather Forecast and what a fabulous month this is going to be for you guys. The big news for you guys is that Jupiter is finally going to turn direct and he's going to turn direct on the 10th of this month which is in your sign bringing you all the luck, abundance, vitality, opportunity all your way again. When Jupiter is in direct motion he is bringing abundant opportunities to you. Having him in your sign is one of the best places to have Jupiter. While he's been in retrograde motion he's been kind of slowed down a little bit. You probably haven't been feeling as abundant, as lucky, as fortunate fortunate as you're going to start feeling after the 10th um, when Jupiter turns direct. Now Jupiter in your sign, the luck and abundance is all about you. It's about your physical body. It, it affects your money, your jobs, your relationships, everything. And Jupiter gives you that abundant feeling and therefore you feel fortunate, you feel lucky, you feel good, and therefore you are attracting all these good things into your life. So that is just fabulous for you guys. Now we are going to have more planets join in the mix of the retrograde motion. We are in retrograde season. We currently have Mars retrograde in Aquarius, uh, occupying your guys' fourth house of home. Um, and then we're going to have Mercury join in at the end of the month on the 26th. Mercury is going to turn retrograde in the sign of Leo, which is going to be in your 10th house of career. Now, you guys currently have Venus in your 10th house of career, so a lot of you might have been getting accolades, doing well at work, expanding your network, all that stuff. Um, and come the 9th, uh, Venus is going to change signs into the sign of Virgo, which is going to expand your networks, your friendships, your groups, your associations. But not only that, the 11th house is also of hopes and wishes coming true, hopes and wishes being fulfilled, often through friends, often through parts of being a group part of a group or an association or a clique that you're in with friends, but it's a very popular time for you guys. This month is going to be really awesome for you guys because not only is Jupiter direct in your own sign, making you feel abundant, attracting luck and opportunities and love and money and career and everything to you guys. I mean, this is the time where you guys really got to lay your plans down and you really got to go for it. Okay. Because Mars retrograde is about that as well. Mars retrograde is the art of war. It's strategically planning your next steps so that way you can accomplish your long-term goals, whatever they may be. Mars is pure vitality. It's one of your rulers along with Pluto. And Mars in retrograde motion can cause us to feel kind of blocked up, slowed down temporarily. They're kind of in phases, three phases during the retrograde motion from what I've experienced. The first phase is kind of an introduction to Mars retrograde where you can feel blocked, frustrated, aggravated, overthinking, mind overactive, whatever type of things. Um, but having them in your fourth house of home, this is about your early childhood, your roots, okay? This is about your home where you live. So Mars is the pure warrior energy. So there can be arguments, disagreements, stuff at home. If you have a roommate, if you live with family, if you live with a significant other, watch out for that because Mars is just pure energetic energy and you can find yourself being frustrated, whether it's because of lack of sleep or just be feeling blocked or just feeling more antagonistic, whatever it is, Mars is just pure energy. So in retrograde motions, it's really about rethinking your steps, replanning your steps, okay? So, and it's also a very wise steps. Mars retrograde is wise, methodical, pragmatic, thinking about the long-term gain, thinking about how to go about getting what it is that he wants. Not just going blatantly into it, running you know, straight into it, where you can sometimes run into walls, but instead thinking, planning out, making plans about what it is that you want. It's a good time to really think about what it is that you really want in your life because there is no doubt that during Mars retrograde, you can really make a game plan to do it. And when he goes direct, you'll make it happen because you'll have all the right steps. You've been wise about it. You thought it through. You know how to do it. And then you're just going to go for it. So Mars retrograde is really awesome. It's like the art of war, strategically planning your next move, what it is you want to accomplish, how to go about doing it, and taking those methodical, wiser steps. Now, on another level, like I said, there can be aggravations, frustrations, kind of coming in waves, feeling blocks, because Mars moving backwards isn't necessarily moving forward. He's more like going back over old uh, territory like you know I did this in the past and that hasn't worked for me now I got to try things differently what's better for me how am I gonna get what I want you know what's the best way to go about getting what I want you know making the plans it's excellent for making plans especially so do make those plans with Mars retrograde 
Now, Venus, like I said, has been transiting your 10th house, is moving into your 11th house of friends, groups, and associations, networking. You guys are going to be very popular. Jupiter in your sign is about abundance and luck and things falling your way, falling in your favor. So Mars retrograde in your fourth house of home could be where do you want to set down roots? Do you want to spend more time with family? Do you want to move away from family? Do you want to, you know, the fourth house is about home, family, roots. It's also about where you actually live. So some of you could be rethinking where you live, where you want to move. Do you want to move somewhere else? Where is your home? Where do you feel like your home is? Where do you feel connected to? Some of you might decide, you know, I haven't been spending enough time with my family. I'd like to spend more time with family. Some of you might think, I've been spending too much time around my family and I need to move away from my family. <laughs> Whatever the situation is, you're going to be thinking about it. You're going to be thinking about retrogrades are all about going back and trying to make it. It's a second chance to make things better. It's like taking a second look at things and seeing how you can improve them and make them better. So there's a lot of that going on with all these planets retrograde, with Saturn retrograde, Pluto retrograde, Neptune retrograde, Mars retrograde. Um, and then we're going to have Uranus join in the mix and then Venus in October. So there's going to be a lot of retrograde planets. But this month, um, we're having Jupiter go direct and then Mercury go retrograde on the 26th. Now, Mercury will be retrograding in your 10th house of career. So here we go again. We're looking at rethinking, strategizing career. Are you unhappy in your career? Is there a client that you want to obtain? How are you going to go about getting that client? Um, opportunities from the past, old job opportunities you can revisit. Old uh, ideas that you wanted to start as far as business is concerned, you can revisit. With Mars retrograde too, it's good to strategize, to make these plans. We're going to be able to accomplish a lot. This year alone is major transformation. We had three aspects uh, with the uh, Jupiter-Pluto, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, Jupiter-Pluto sextile, <clears throat> and we're going to have another one coming um, in September. So we have the final one. So, I mean, we are having a lot of transformation as a result of those let alone. It's all retrograde season of all going back, revisiting, replanning, trying to figure out better ways to do things, um, better relationships with people, better, you know, uh, putting in better efforts at work, you know, whatever. Maybe taking a different job opportunity that would have been better, but we didn't take it in the past. All of this stuff is revisiting, okay? So with Mercury retrograde in your 10th house is about how the public sees you and how you go out into the world so you'll be rethinking that if you have your own company you'll be rethinking how to present yourself to the world but maybe coming up with new marketing material if you've been interviewing you're going to get calls back from companies that you previously interviewed at maybe during Mar uh, Venus's transit in your 10th house overall it's going to be job opportunities coming back rethinking business ideas rethinking your place in the world all of that stuff with um, mercury turning retrograde and then mars retrograde is all about strategizing coming up with the most efficient way to get it done we all have goals we all have dreams there's nothing too too big too great that we can accomplish we can accomplish anything we want and with all these retrogrades we're really going to be thinking hard about it we're really going to be strategizing really going to be coming up with it but now that jupiter is direct in your sign this is so positive because things are going to start falling in your lap saturn is all about hard work and blockages and restrictions and you guys are experiencing him in your third house of communication but also local travel um also uh, transportation um also uh you know computers and technology all that stuff saturn refines and perfects but sometimes he can make things break down cause dilemmas and stuff to occur in order for us to perfect and improve. People can buy a car with Saturn going through the third house, um, buy new technology, rethink the way they communicate, take a writing or speaking class. However you can perfect this area, that's what Saturn's about, but he's about restrictions and hard work. Jupiter is all about abundance. Just give it to him. <laughs> just let it, just give it to him and give it to him big. So Jupiter is all about abundance and luck and fortune and ease and having him in your sign is really awesome. And since he's direct this month, you guys are going to start feeling things really start coming together for you guys. It's really awesome. Um, you do have Uranus transiting uh, into Taurus, which is changing up your seventh house of partnerships, marriage and relationships, which can bring new different types of people into your life. You guys are going to have a lot of transformation, a lot of exciting changes happening, a lot of love a lot of abundance, good things at work, um, good things within the friendship groups, expanding your networks. There's a lot of great things happening for you guys, especially this month. It's really picking up for you. So I'm really happy to, to convey this to you. Now, this new moon that's happening on the 12th is going to be in Cancer 
and it's going to include a partial solar eclipse and it's going to be opposing Pluto in Capricorn. Now on the same day there's going to be a grand trine between Saturn, Uranus and Venus. So this is a massive, massive, massive event. Okay, the new moons we have every month of course, but new moons often close out things, bring new opportunities and pick up activity in that house. This is your ninth house of travel, higher learning, uh, higher education, expansion in all areas. It's Jupiter's house. You have Jupiter in your own sign. This is about expanding, believing in yourself, having faith, taking risks, traveling, exploring new things, trying new things, going back to school, furthering your education, learning about politics, exploring religion, going back and figuring out what your true core beliefs are. Some of you might change your beliefs. Some of you might discover something and go, you know what? I believe this now, or I believe that now with the new moon, and especially the partial solar eclipse. And since it's opposing Pluto, there's big revelations to be had. Pluto's the investigator. He likes to expose things that are lie deep, that are hidden, that are below the surface, that we haven't been dealing with. Or this can be in others, things in others, in other people, awareness, sudden awareness, sudden realizations. However it's going to be, it's definitely going to be positive because there is a grand trine between Saturn, Uranus, and Venus all happening for you guys with your third house, your seventh house, and your 11th house of friends. So something positive can come through a group that you're affiliated or associated with. Something through your friends can come through. Some positive event on this day. There definitely can be an ending, a realization, a new beginning, um, but it's gonna be positive. Some deep realizations can definitely come into play. Some endings of an old way of doing things and a new way of doing things. A lot of strategy, a lot of thinking, a lot of making plans. But this is going to be so awesome because I think a lot of it you're going to see in August. A lot of what's transpiring now, you're going to start seeing the rewards and the benefits coming in August because Jupiter is now direct bringing you all that luck that you guys have been kind of not seeing so much of since he's been in retrograde motion. And Mars retrograde is really about, you know, wiser steps, thinking things through to obtain your goal. What do you want? How are you going to go about doing it? And you're going to be really awesome at doing it. And then Venus is going to be moving into your 11th house of friends and groups, making you popular. Use your networks. Use your friends to help you um, to accomplish what you want. But also enjoy time with your friends. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. You're expanding your networks. You're doing really good at work. you got a lot of work opportunities coming to you guys. you got a lot of... Um, changes coming a lot of rethinking things but solid plans being made so i mean overall it looks like a fantastic an awesome month for you guys there's a couple of really good aspects happening as well um we're going to have on the 11th, Venus in Virgo is going to try and Uranus in Taurus, and that is in your 11th house of friends along with your 7th house of partnerships. So some of you that are single, this is an awesome month to find a relationship. Some of you that are dating, this is a good month to solidify a commitment. Um, this can also be benefits coming through friends from a friend on this day, especially something coming from a benefit in a relationship, a sudden unexpected uh, event, something occurring, positive. Um, and on the 14th, Venus and Virgo is going to try and Saturn and Capricorn, which is really good too. That's just a nice flowing aspect um, in terms of love, relationships, um, studying them, making them solid, making a commitment, um, but good for money as well, solid money. Um, and then on the 22nd, Venus and Virgo is going to sextile Jupiter, which is so awesome because Venus will be in your 11th house of friends and Jupiter is in your sign in Scorpio, all in direct motion. So benefits coming through friends, you getting appreciated, you being popular, something good coming out of the limelight for you guys. Um, Mercury retrograde on the 26th can bring about a little bit of, you know, just be cautious because it is about revisiting, going back, but there are communication issues that you might want to be mindful of. Just be careful about who you're texting and the messages you're sending. There tends to be technological, technological errors and things that can happen during the first part of Mercury retrograde. But again, it's about revisiting, rethinking things, job opportunities coming back, you getting reconnected with people from old companies, from new companies, from part of your social group in the 11th house uh, with Venus in your 11th house and Mercury retrograde in your 10th. This is just really good. I see good things coming to you guys. Really good things coming to you guys. I'd love to hear all about it as they progress. Um, so I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. 
Um, be sure to subscribe or and to click the bell if you haven't already in order to get notified of my uploads. Um, if you'd like your own personal reading, because everybody's chart is different, you have to understand that. Um, before I even go there, I'm going to tell you to listen to your ascendant sign also because both houses will be affected by these planet transits as Jupiter is in your sign in Scorpio. It may not be your first house or your rising sign. You may have a different rising sign, um, which will show where Jupiter actually is transiting for you there. So you're going to receive benefits there as well. The same thing goes. So always listen to your sun and ascendant sign in order to get the biggest picture out of these general forecasts because they are general. Um, but in order to get a more detailed one that's specific for you, a game plan for the next year, what you have coming up, um, or anything particular, or relationships in which I specialize in all sorts of things, please visit my site at www.illumastrology.com or www.illumastrology.blogspot.com. I look forward to hearing from you guys. I wish you a fabulous July 2018. Until next time, thanks for listening.